and the two new Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Let's see what's inside. Filled with mozzarella cheese. It's probably gonna be really hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth, but here we go. Added two tenders and I got cheese fries. I'm back. I'm back. It don't really matter what you say. I'm listening to you in a way. Welcome to the video. I have some donuts here from Kettle Glaze Donuts. But I want to thank you for all the support. 30,000 subscribers, incredible. So I thought I'd do a little cheat day video, just some of my favorites and uh, some stuff you guys enjoy. So I know you guys love the donuts. And I mean, who doesn't? Donuts are bomb. Um, so anyways, let's get started. Let's have a fun day. Current time, 4.41. And I think I'm gonna start with one of these right here. I have more in the box, don't worry. I just warmed this, so we got an old fashioned and it has a maple frosting on it, so let's try it. Wow, that maple icing on there. That's really good. Mm. Kettle Glaze. Another great donut spot in LA. Little milk dip. So if you like donuts, like this video because these are some tasty donuts. Mm. Good way to start the day. Train back today, so these are some post-workout donuts which are always my favorite. Anyways, we got a cronut. And this is a rhubarb filled donut. So, first time trying it, kettle glaze. Wow, look at the bottom of that. I got, I gotta bring you in for this. Here we go. I heated this one, so that rhubarb filling is super hot, but that was a good call. It's bomb, but uh, almost burnt my tongue there. <laughs> oh well. That's really good. <laughs> it's really hot though, but it's bomb. And uh, kind of funny, this is all the milk we had today. So, I'm gonna cool it down. Pro move, pro donut move. Mm. Rhubarb action. Mmm. Wow. That's funny, it reminded me of the strawberry Pop-Tarts. No, the uh, toaster strudel. When it has that vanilla frosting, that was kind of like that donut. <laughs> but a better version than a freaking toaster strudel. Okay, 
These donuts are not hot, so I don't have to burn my mouth, which is a good thing. Let's, uh, I'm gonna start with this one. You've seen these before. S'mores donut, I love this one. Bomb, very bomb. Team Big Bites. Wow. Mm. Freaking donuts, man. Marshmallow fluff. I love s'mores. It's such a classic. I mean, marshmallow fluff, a little toasted at the top with graham crackers, chocolate, s'mores, and a donut. That's how you do it. Trying to zoom in there because you can see the vanilla beans all over this thing. Vanilla bean donut via kettle glaze. It's so simple but perfect. Wait. Got a little donut on me. Wow. Who else out there just loves a simple glazed donut? With the vanilla kind of glaze they have on here, such a nice detail. That was bomb. We got two more. Both I've had. Such a tough decision. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this. See what's inside. Mm-hmm. Yep, look at that jam. Real raspberry jelly. Raspberry or strawberry? What do you prefer? Whoops. I also love milk. I think most of you know that by now. I always had milk with my peanut butter and jellies in school. And my mom was so sweet. She put my milk in like one of those canteens and an ice pack to keep it cold. Sweetest memories from elementary school right there. My mom is a legend. Anyways, last donut, the grand finale. Le piece de resistance, as my homie says, uh, Nick. <laughs> uh, this is a fluffer nutter. So we got, I think it's a peanut butter, peanut butter, like marshmallow fluffy cream. And um, yeah, peanut butter frosting. Oh.
Wow. This was a good one to end on. It's peanut butter flavored like marshmallow cream. Peanut butter frosting. What's not to love? Wow. These are some bomb donuts. I should put the raspberry on jelly on top of this one, make like a peanut butter and jelly. Mm. <sighs> All right, those are really tasty. Good way to start off the day. Um, some donuts. I think that's like Nate and Livia's shirt. Some donuts. Anyways, I really need to meet them too. But, 4.53, and uh, those were freaking bomb. Wow, Kel Glaze never disappoints. Kel Glaze Colorado Donuts. Those are my, my stomping grounds. <laughs> See you in a little bit. That's Ellie, by the way. And she's off the leash. Most of the time she is. People ask why she always on the leash. Most of the time she's off the leash. I'm not gonna go on. So I'm just leaving Tour Le Jour. I have my bag of goodies. But somebody told me there's an upstairs at California Market. So I found this movie two weeks ago and they have some incredible looking places. I'm gonna go check one out. for the first time. I've seen these Korean corn dogs and they look really good because they have cheese in them and everything. It's current time. 5.45. Now, I put cheddar, Parmesan. First, I'm gonna try out this potato one. Look at that. Somebody in line said they're hot, so careful. And uh, let's try it. Almost burned my tongue. Second time today. <laughs> but that flavor is crazy. So it has these fried on potato wedges, got a hot dog on the inside. Wow, and that cheese powder, I recommend. Mmm. That's tasty. Mmm. This is really bomb. They fried it really well too. And these are crispy. The cheese drizzle was a good call on this. That was very good. And that was the potato version. This is the one I'm excited for. All right, so this is the one filled with mozzarella cheese. It's probably gonna be really hot, I'm gonna burn my mouth, but here we go.
it's mozzarella and cheddar with the ketchup perfect call This is like one of my new favorite things. The outside is perfectly crisp. Look at that. And the cheese is so melty. And like packed in there. Fire. I am gonna take the stick off. I think both of these cost nine dollars total so 450 each worth it now it's a perfect mozzarella stick okay <laughs> now i have 12 now i have 12 as yours how do you guys like this outside this stuff thumbs up and comment down below your favorite either corn dog would you call that a corn dog i don't know but cheese dog that's where it's at blueberry cream cheese bread cheese yo i love cheese let's see oh this bomb blueberry cream cheese like in a bagel but the bagel doesn't get all weird when you bite it it's just like soft <laughs> perfect bites mm, yeah this is bomb if you like bagels you're gonna love this mm. so far today has been three out of three everything every place i've been to came through look at the blueberry in there we got blueberry bits. I got more. I got more. This one looks crazy. This is a Saboro. I think it's cream filled. These kids playing on the field. Stay in school kids. Not the ones from the ice cream challenge. Different, different kids. Oh, shoot. Is it filled? It's that, it's that filled. Christ Almighty. Wow. This is good. It's not really sweet. It's a bread. Not like a donut. It's more like bready, like a pastry. Cream is very nice. That's really good. Bomb time. It's a lot of cream. <laughs> but I got two more. Most of the reason why. Now, not my favorite because I'm not, I like like red bean, I like like flavors. This one looks cool. She said you gotta try this one. So I was like, homegirl, I got you. So I've seen this before, it looks really cool, milk bread. Mmm. You like that bite? Wow. It's cream inside. Mmm. Yo, this is my new thing. Look at that. Now that kind of cream, that's nice. With this bread, it's perfect. It's like a sandwich without the crust. It's good. Really good. Milk bread, get that. And the blueberry one. Love this one so much. So I get it. Sesame pumpkin donut. But this chewiness right here, the oiliness in it, always brings me back. Nice pumpkin filling in here.
that I didn't finish this. But just know, I'm actually gonna wrap it back up. And uh, I think my dad is gonna love the rest of it. I'll see you back at the house. This has been a fun K-Town trip. A magic K-Town trip. If you want more magic K-Town trips, throw this video a like and comment K-Town trip. So right now, I'm back home after going to K-Town, trying those awesome, awesome pastries and the hot dogs. But right now, I'm calculating my calories. A lot of you guys ask, Mikey, how do you do it? I really try to look for whatever it was I had and I try to eyeball the weight and I'm pretty good at doing that and I'm pretty good because I've been doing this for years so I kind of know what four ounces looks like versus two ounces. Now sometimes these will be logged in and it will be two ounces but what you were served is definitely more so in that case I will, you know, I will overestimate the calories of whatever is logged in there, but you're never gonna be 100% accurate, and that's just life. And to be honest, for those that go to like Pizza Hut when they're in New York because they can log the calories of a Pizza Hut slice, come on now, son. You are missing out on life. So sometimes you gotta live, and uh, like I've been doing, and to be honest, it's work for the most part, but, um, yeah, so I heard about this new cool food, so I'm gonna go grab one, I'm gonna go try it, but I gotta wait in line, but anyways, let's get to it, because it's like 6.24. Um, I'll be right back. So there's a new chicken sandwich here. It's safe to say everybody knows about it. Made some awesome friends though in line here. <laughs> And uh, they're actually from New Zealand. And we have some people in Lo from London uh, in front of us. What is up? I am back. I got Molly right here. I'm gonna be hanging out with dad later on deck again. Shout out to my homie. If you guys stayed to the end of the last video, you saw my buddy Badlands hook me up with that. But anyways, mac and cheese, biscuit, and the two new Popeye's chicken sandwiches. For the first time, a magic menu review. Let's give it a go. Wow. Look at that. That is some good chicken. The chicken itself is super juicy. There's a spice in the breading. I'm looking for Some pickles in there, which I like, but I gotta try this mac, I haven't tried it yet. Yo, Popeye's got some mac. Popeye's got the mac, Molly. Only pro moves here. Mmm. Yo, Popeye's got a good sandwich going. 30 minutes in line, worth it. Sauce on deck. Let me know if you've tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Magic menu review number one. I'd hit it. I would hit it again. Who doesn't love barbecue and chicken? Mmm. Shout out to Badlands. That's good. This is bomb. Mm. I like the pickle. They put it in Nashville style chicken sandwiches. Most 
chicken sandwiches. Kind of gives it a freshness. Sorry, Nate. Popeye's got a sandwich. They've also got some mac. Okay, this is the other one. The buns are also pretty fluffy. Good brioche. Here we go. This is a classic. I like the spicy more. Molly. Hooray! You like you some chicken? Molly likes her some chicken. I do too, Molly. I like me some chicken too. Ranch also goes on fried chicken. Best believe that. Yep, it does. Look at all that. Hmm. I'm glad I worked out today. That was smart. I do train six days a week. Probably not gonna train tomorrow if I'm too full. I'm, I probably won't be. It'll probably be a good session. Leg day too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. I have one more bite. I'm gonna let my mom try that because she loves her some mac. That's good. Popeyes makes some mac. Mm. Don't worry. Yo, I'm feeling chicken today. I'm. We're, I'm gonna have some more chicken today. Is that cool? I'm gonna go to one of my favorite places next, but honey and biscuit. Buttermilk biscuits. Mm. Bye. So Ellie was on a lease that time. Sorry. <laughs> Popeyes makes a good chicken sandwich. Spicy one for me was it. Your results may vary, but I would give that a very good seal of approval. Popeyes killed it with this one and they're open seven days a week and uh, nobody's got a problem with Popeyes. So yeah, saving the rest of this. But I would rather people also learn if they don't wanna finish something or maybe they're a little full and they want somebody else to try, that's cool too. That's something to teach people. But 6.59, I'm gonna get dad. And we're gonna go to dinner and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Chicken time, chicken time. It's a great time. Let's do it.
back at Dave's with this guy. This, by the way, if you haven't seen the first time I came to Dave's and made mo ate most of their menu, this is the same table. Memories. One tender, one slider plate, but I added two tenders and I got cheese fries. I'm back. I'm back! 8.22. Spicy mayo. Sorry, Paul. Paprika, cayenne pepper, all those spicy flavors. Super juicy, high quality chicken too. cheese on your fries, freaking do it. How is it? Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got the low spice, but it's, it's fine. It's, it's good. I think it needs a spice. You have the option of getting no spice, but he got spicy mild. I got two hots and one extra hot. But um, I'm gonna get into my slider. Like this video and comment games for more of this. I can do that. Especially given my circumstances today. Yeah, we're good. 
I'm good. Which ones have you seen? Yeah, uh, see one I uh, What up? How are you, my man? That you made like a lot of reapers that came out. A bunch of tenders. You were just like. Oh, you saw that video here? That's awesome. Wait, do you guys want to be on camera? Yeah. That's awesome. So. These guys saw the video when I first came by here, so it's a lot, right? But it was worth it, to be honest. Like Dave's, bro, this book, this is my favorite. No, for real. <laughs> if you ever see me in public, say what's up, please. Say what's up. I'm not weird. I won't eat you, too. I promise I won't. Surprise, stay crispy for so long. Him Postmates tape, his fries will still be crispy. You're not done with your Mac until... still a line here. And we got the security guard keeping everybody safe right here. So this is my man, what was your name? Tosh. And what did you say you're gonna get for dinner after you're done? Definitely gonna have days before I go. <laughs> That's love and I would do the exact same, seriously. Of course, I have to. Have yeah. To. All right, so 